Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a Shih Tzu, which was another request. I get a lot of requests for different dog breeds. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 10cm by 15cm or 4 inches by 6 inches. This medium Shih Tzu crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 7cm by 11.5cm or 2 and 3 quarter inches by 4.5 inches and the small Shih Tzu crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 5.5cm by 8cm or 2 inches by 3 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be a bit smaller than this one. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 105 Bridal White, 254 Moon Rock, 110 Black and 162 Black Coffee. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. I'm going to start on the head, just there under the muzzle and work up the head. I've got my 105, the bridal white, and I start with 8 chain. For row 1, I work 1 single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. We put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook and bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. Then we work one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. You put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and we work one half double crochet in the next stitch. Then we work two double crochet in the following stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook Take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. And we work one more double crochet in that same stitch. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And one single crochet in the last stitch. and the different stitches just gives it a bit of a curve. For row two we start with one chain and turn our work and work one single crochet in each of the eight stitches. For row 3 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain 
and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take a hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. And we work a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. We've got six stitches. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And to join single crochet over the last two stitches. For row six, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 10 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end. We'll have seven stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. Then one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet in the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the nine stitches.
For bow 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two half double crochet in the following stitch. One double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the following stitch. And two double crochet in the last stitch. And that's the head part done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we work one chain and we turn our work. We're going to work back over the last row first. So we work one slip stitch in each stitch across the top. So we put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So one slip stitch in each stitch across the top. and then work a slip stitch into that corner there and then we're going to work a slip stitch in each stitch around the rest of the head part. So just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far from the edge. And we need to work them into each stitch so that we have the right amount for the brown part. So I'll continue working the slip stitch in each stitch and I'll be back when I get to the end of the row. When we get back to the beginning of the row, we slip stitch in the first stitch and fasten off. Now we'll be working this brown part on each side of the head. But first I'll work the muzzle while I've got the bridle white. Now for the muzzle, using my bridle white, I start with four chain. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet in the next stitch. and one single crochet in the last stitch. For row two, I start with one chain and turn my work. I work two single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch. For row three, I start with one chain and turn. I work two single crochet in the first stitch, 
one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. Now that's the top part of the muzzle. We're going to start on the first side now. We start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For the next row we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and two single crochet into the last stitch. Then we work one chain and turn our work. We work one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. and a join single crochet over the last two stitches. And for the last row we start with one chain and turn and we're going to work a join single crochet over the four stitches. So put the hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We've got five loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we fasten off. And that's the muzzle with the first side done. For the second side, we join in the same stitch as the last stitch worked of row five. So this stitch here and work one chain. We work a join single crochet over that same stitch as the join and the next stitch. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And two single crochet into the last stitch. For row two, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with one chain and turn. 
we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And for row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over our four stitches. And that's the muzzle done except for the neatening row. Now this side is one row more than this side but that's how it's meant to be because the head is facing slightly to this side so this side will be slightly longer. For our neatening row, we start with one chain, we're not going to turn our work, and we work one slip stitch in each stitch around our work. So I'll continue around the neatening row and I'll be back. When I get back to the beginning of the row, I slip stitch in the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the muzzle done. Now I'm going to start on this side first. So I've got the head and the top is the one with the slightly different shaping and the pointy side is this side here. So I'm going to join my 254 the moon rock. The moon rock's darker than this. This colour here is 406 soft beige but I didn't have it in the Katona cotton. So I've got moon rock for this one and I've got three centre stitches in the middle here. I join in the stitch before those three centre stitches. So just in this stitch here. Now depending on how many stitches you worked in your kneading row, this may be slightly out. Now we work one single crochet in each of those three middle stitches. And then we slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. And then we turn our work. For row two, we work two single crochet in the first single crochet from the row before. So just in there, two single crochet. One single crochet in the next stitch. And two single crochet in the last single crochet. And then slip stitch in the next two stitches on the side. For row three we turn our work. We work two single crochet in the first single crochet. One single crochet into each of the next three single crochet.
and two single crochet into the last single crochet. And then we work one slip stitch in each of the next two stitches along the side. For row four, we turn our work and work two single crochet into the first stitch. And we work one single crochet into each of the remaining single crochet. and each of the next three stitches on the head. Now we shouldn't be quite to the bottom there. So I've got one up, one more stitch to the bottom there. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the next 11 stitches. And then work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches on the head. And then we're going to slip stitch in the corner. So I've probably got one stitch too many there, but I've just missed, missed one to make it fit in. And because everyone, and every time you work it, it varies as to how many slip stitches you do. So just try to make it fit into the amount of stitches. For row six, we turn our work and work one single crochet into the slip stitch. And then one single crochet in each remaining stitch. We should have 14 stitches. If you haven't, just adjust them. You could miss, if you've got too many, miss the slip stitch. Or just add one, probably in the curve there, if you haven't got enough. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. We'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 12 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last two stitches.
and work a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. For bow weight we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two left. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now I'm going to join in the black coffee, the 162 for that little bit of the ear marking. So I'll just get that. Now I join the black coffee. I just put a loop over the hook and bring it through and pull the moon rock tight and I work one chain. I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail there because when I work my neatening row I'll be able to use that to just add the little marking over the neatening row. So I work one chain and turn my work. Now I leave that tail on this side but I'm going to work over the moon rock so I hold it against my work. I'm going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches with the black coffee, working over the top of the moon rock. And then I work one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And then I join in the moon rock. So I put my hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop of moon rock and then continue working with the moon rock. And then I work one single crochet in the next stitch and a join single crochet in the last two stitches. Then I pull out a little loop there and I'm going to work some chain for that little bit that goes around the corner. So I pull my black coffee to the top, the dark brown, and I work three chain. And then I fasten it off, leaving a bit of a longer tail. I'll just use that to stitch it down. And I end that one off. And then I'll put the loop of the moon rock back on my hook and work one chain and turn my work. I work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And then one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. and a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet and one half double crochet in the following stitch. And to join single crochet over the last two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the first side done. Now for this one I'll just 
stitch it down. I bend it around the top and stitch at the, just at the end of it and then stitch through the chain. And I'll weave in this end and also this one, but not this one. And I'll be back and we'll work a neatening row with the moon rock. Now for the neatening row, I've got my 254, the moon rock, and I join just in where the bridal white meets the moon rock at the bottom there on the right side. And I work one slip stitch in each stitch around. Now if you're having trouble getting your hook in to the stitches for the neatening row, it can be helpful to work with a size or two smaller hook. And when I get back to the bridal white, I fasten off. And that's the first side neatened. When I weave in this end, I'll just stitch it over the top, probably twice before I weave it in, so that I've got the brown over the top there. So I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll do this other side. Now the second side starts the same as the first side but it hasn't got as many rows. We find our three middle stitches and join the stitch before the three middle stitches. And work one single crochet in each of those three middle stitches. and one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And we turn our work. For row two, we work two single crochet into our first single crochet. one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last single crochet and then work a slip stitch into each of the next two stitches on the side and turn our work for row 3 we work two single crochet into the first single crochet, 
one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and two single crochet into the last one and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches on the head For bow 4 we turn our work and work 2 single crochet into the first stitch then we work 1 single crochet in each remaining stitch and the next 3 stitches on the head we'll have 11 stitches and then if you've got another one left you slip stitch into it so you should be slip stitching into the last stitch on the head for row 5 we start with one chain and turn we work one single crochet into each of the next 10 stitches not the, the slip stitch Then we work a join single crochet over the next two stitches on the head. Now we're going to join in the 162, the black coffee. And I'll leave a bit of the tail again to stitch over the end, though I think the muzzle will go over at most of the time and we work one chain with the black coffee and turn we leave this end and we work over the top of the moon rock so work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet into each of the next four stitches And then we change to the moon rock and we work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches and then work a joined single crochet over the last stitches. Normally I'd have three stitches left. And then pull out a bit of a loop and we're going to work our three chain with the moon rock with the sorry the black coffee and then we fasten that one off use with a longer tail and then I'll put the loop of the moon rock back on And then using the moon rock I work one chain and turn. I work a joined 
single crochet over the first two stitches and then one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. I'm going to leave the, the black coffee on the front because this is the front part. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and for row 11 we start with one chain and turn we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches one half double crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet and one half double crochet in the following stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and fasten off Then I work a neatening row from the top of the head round to the bottom of the head. So I join my 254, the moon rock, just in the last bridal white stitch and work one slip stitch in each stitch around. And I fasten off. And I'll stitch that one in towards the head there and I'll put a couple of stitches over the top of the neatening row when I weave in those ends. Now for the nose I've got my 160, the black, and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you like. I just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and the long end over the short end to make a circle. I put the yarn around my hook and bring the hook with the yarn at the end through the circle. Then I work two chain and work three half double crochet in the circle. I work two chain, slip stitch in the circle, I pull the circle tight and fasten off. And that's the nose done. Now for the eyes, I make a magic loop and work one chain and work five single crochet into the circle I pull the circle tight 
and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. And fasten off. And I've got a small circle. The second eye has worked the same. I make a magic loop. and work one chain and work five single crochet into the circle I pull the circle tight and join with the slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off for the body I've got my 105 the bridal white and I start with 14 chain For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. I'll have 13 stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 13 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 13 stitches.
For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work 2 single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So after our 2 single crochet in the first, work 1 single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet in the last stitch. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet in the last stitch and we'll have 17 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 17 stitches. Now rows 9 to 14 are work the same as row 8. We work one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 17 stitches. So I'll work those six more rows and I'll be back. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work a join single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet in each stitch till we have two left.
I've got two left. We work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 15 stitches. For row 17 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 15 stitches. Now we're going to start on this leg here. For row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first six stitches. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first four stitches. And a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the five stitches. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 23 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 24 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 25 we start with one chain and turn 
and work one single crochet in each stitch. And we fasten off. And that's the body in the first leg done. For the second leg, we join our bridal white in the first stitch of the body. And work one chain. We work one single crochet in that same stitch as a join. And then one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet in each of the first 4 stitches. And a join single crochet over the last 2 stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 5 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the first 4 stitches. and work 3 single crochet into the last stitch. And that's the body and legs done except for the neatening row. We start with one chain and we're going to turn our work because this is going to be our right side. And we work one slip stitch in each stitch across the top of the leg and then one slip stitch in each stitch down the side And then one slip stitch in the first stitch on the tummy. Into the middle stitch we're going to work two half double crochet. That's just to give it a little bit of shaping in the tummy. And then we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch right around the rest of our piece. So I'll continue working my neatening row and I'll be back when I get near the end of the row. 
Once I get back to the beginning of the row, I slip stitch in the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the body done. Now for the back, I join the 254, the moon rock, just across from the top of the leg. So in this stitch here, I work one slip stitch in the next stitch. I'm going to work into the back loop of the slip stitches. One single crochet into the following stitch. One half double crochet and one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet into each of the next six stitches. One double crochet and one half double crochet in the following stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. And a slip stitch in the following stitch. And fasten off. And that's the body with the back done. Now these two back legs are work the same. I've got my 105 the bridal white and I work five chain. For row one I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. For row 2 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 3 I start with one chain and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 I start with 1 chain and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 1 single crochet in each of the first 3 stitches. And 3 single crochet in the last stitch. And 
and that's the back leg done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row I start with one chain, I pull it quite tight and I slip stitch down into that last stitch and then I work a slip stitch in each stitch up around the top and then down to the beginning of the last row. I don't work across the last row. And I pass them off. And that's the first back leg. For the second one, I start with five chain. For bow one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the four stitches. For row three I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 4, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 5, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first three stitches. And three single crochet into the last stitch. And then I work one chain and slip stitch into the first stitch. And then I work a slip stitch in each stitch up around the top and down to the beginning of the last row. So I'll finish this one off and I'll weave in all the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the muzzle, the nose, two eyes, the body, two back legs and the head. The first things I'll do is embroider the markings on the legs. I have two on each of the front legs and one near the side of the two back legs. I'll embroider a white dot in the middle of each eye and I'll attach the nose to the muzzle and I'll embroider that little black marking down to the bottom but I will leave my black yarn attached. The next things I'll do is attach the back legs in behind the front legs. They go higher up than the front legs. So 
about there and I'll attach the muzzle to the head. It goes further across this side and I'll attach it first by stitching the black just down the side of the muzzle. Just to the edge there. And then I'll do the other side the same. And then I'll stitch it down with the cream. So I'll just stitch down to the edge and then I'll stitch around with the cream. The last things I'll do is attach the eyes to the head. I just leave a tiny bit of brown showing on each side and then I'll attach the head to the body. About there, you can bend it whichever way you'd like. So, I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished dog. And there's the finished Shih Tzu. The size is 9 centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres or 3 and a half inches by 4 and 3 quarter inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.